Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Quinton here, and welcome to this tutorial series on cPanel. So, a question I get asked all the time is, how do I get my website live onto the internet where everyone can see it? And the simple answer is to buy some shared hosting, and then use cPanel to upload all your files and get your website live. I know you guys probably have two questions. First of all, what is cPanel? And secondly, what is shared hosting? So cPanel is a control panel. Yeah, I know, the name kind of gives it away, doesn't it? But cPanel is a control panel that is used on most Linux hosting packages. So if you purchase Linux hosting, you're more than likely going to land up with cPanel as your control panel. And what cPanel allows us to do is easily create and manage email addresses, create and manage files, create and manage databases, and there's a whole bunch of other stuff as well, which we will be taking a look at in this tutorial series. Okay, so that is cPanel, but what is shared hosting? Well, shared hosting is when a hosting provider sets up one server and they put a whole bunch of people's websites on that server. So there is not just you, there's a whole bunch of people. You're all sharing that server. And what that means is that you don't have to pay for the full server. You only pay for the part of the server that you're using. And most of these uh, hosting providers generally offer like some really good packages. So you get to choose how many email addresses you want, how many databases you want, how much storage space you need, and then you only pay for the part that you're using. And what that means is that shared hosting can be really cheap. So let's jump onto my computer and I'm gonna show you guys what to look for when buying a shared hosting package and also how to check that cPanel will be available. All right, so we're on my computer right now and I've got a bunch of different tabs open over here that you can see. Uh, but first, I just want to mention like a little disclaimer that none of these companies have paid me to say anything about them or to mention their names here. So uh, yeah, just wanted to get that out there. Um, and the suggestion I actually have for you guys is to actually just Google companies that are local and in your area because that's what I did whenever I was looking for hosting. Uh, back in the day when I was looking for a good hosting company, when I started uh, actually needing hosting, what I did was I just went to Google and I typed in web hosting uh, South Africa. And you can see there's a bunch of ads <laughs> over here right now. And then one of the top ranking sites is Web Africa, which is a hosting company, but they're uh, based in another city to what I am based in. And also they never used to be this highly ranked. Uh, the company that I chose uh, long ago was AfriHost. And you can see that I've actually visited their link before. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click on this. And these guys are uh, the web hosts that I use. Not that they're paying me to say that, but yeah. Uh, it is really convenient because they are next door to me. So they're in the same city as I am. They're next door to me. If I have any issues, I just get out of my desk, walk across the road and I say, hey, I've got some issues on my website. Can you please fix them? And like, that's how easy it is for me to get hold of them. So it is really convenient. Uh, and usually I don't have any issues. They're uh, really good at what they do. But anyway, let's go over to uh, hosting and I'm gonna go to uh, Linux hosting and we're gonna take a look at some of their hosting packages. Uh, and the reason why I'm telling you guys to look for someone local is because if you're gonna be managing a website or running a website within your country, uh, sometimes if you get a, a server outside of your country, it can run really slowly. It can affect loading time. So. I uh, host with a South African website because I was hoping South African people would visit my site um, or I've got other websites that South African people need to visit. So yeah, uh, it really helps just having a local company hosting your site. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna scroll down now and you can see that once I get uh, part way down the page, I've actually got the packages uh, and pricing options over here. So uh, you can see that there's a bunch of different uh, package options. So we've got from bronze to uh, platinum pro. And if you take a look at each one of these packages, you can see that uh, we've got a cost. So 19 Rand for silver home, 
Uh, that's just over $1 if I do the currency conversion uh, based on what today's currency is. Uh, set up free, and actually I don't even know why they're bragging about this because if you're gonna get web hosting or especially shared hosting from a company, set up should be free. I don't know why they would charge you for it. Anyway, uh, web traffic, that's nice. Uh, we've got unlimited web traffic and I would say uh, if you guys are looking for a hosting company and they're not giving you unlimited web traffic, uh, I would go look somewhere else because uh, if if they give you a certain amount of bandwidth, uh, you might never reach that bandwidth, I know, but if you ever do, they're gonna shut your site down until you like pay for more bandwidth and that could be really annoying, especially if you weren't expecting your website to uh, do well in a certain month. Uh, anyway, so yeah, uh, web traffic, look for something that has unlimited web traffic. Storage space, right now this one is just under a gig, so I would probably wanna bump this package up a little bit and get a little bit more space. Although, uh, 750 megs is really not bad for a website. Uh, I don't see many websites go over that amount. Uh, but yeah, there is something else that we need, which is really important, that is a MySQL database. So you can see I've kind of skipped over email addresses. I mean, you guys all know what, uh, that those are, but uh, MySQL database is uh, something that we need. Uh, if you guys don't know about MySQL databases, we need that for WordPress. And if you're building a system that requires like logging in and storing information and stuff like that, you're really gonna need a SQL database. And uh, with this package, we've got one and that is fine. Uh, that's enough for if you're running a WordPress site or a Joomla site. Uh, but sometimes you might want to have an extra database so uh, then you can go ahead and uh, look for a package with more databases. Although one, I think, is what majority of people will ever use. So uh, yeah, uh, this is probably the minimum package I would choose is just a gold home uh, package for a WordPress or a Joomla site or uh, any custom PHP site that I was coding myself. The, this is the lowest package I would go for. Uh, and you can see PHP version 5.3 plus. So they're not telling me exactly, it's just that it's higher than 5.3. And uh, yeah, I would definitely <laughs> opt for uh, a package that has a good or a very late, very new version of PHP because uh, yeah, you don't want to be uh, hosting with someone who's got old PHP and then you try do something with WordPress and it doesn't work because a lot of um, sites and a lot of plugins for WordPress or Joomla these days need uh, PHP 5.3 or higher. So just make sure that you've got that. And uh, you can see I've got an option to check for more features. And over here is where I get to see uh, cPanel. So I know that these guys are using cPanel, that's great. Uh, and this that is like the whole point of this tutorial is I need someone with cPanel uh, because that's what I'm gonna be showing you guys. So yeah, uh, we've got access to cPanel and if I scroll further down, we've got access, uh, the version of cPanel is um, cPanel 11, which is a very recent version of cPanel and that's awesome. Uh, so I'm just gonna close this. I mean, you guys can check out the other stats if you want to, but I don't wanna run through all of that. And yeah, that's just uh, the, the minimum package I would choose here. Uh, if we go over to another hosting provider, this is HostGator, um, you need to go over to web hosting or their WordPress hosting page and just take a look at some of the stats that they, they've got or some of the specifications they offer. And you can see on uh, what they call a hatchling plan, you get a single domain, which is actually what you get here as well. Uh, you just get one domain. Um, and then unmetered bandwidth, so you're getting unlimited web traffic, which is awesome. Uh, and like I said, I wouldn't go for anyone that is not offering unlimited bandwidth. Um, and so yeah, just make sure that you do that. And then I'm just gonna scroll further down the page to show you guys uh, where they start listing uh, technical specs. Um, you've got some information about web hosting features and some stuff that's free on their site and so on, but what I really wanted you to look at is that cPanel is available on HostGator. So if you're gonna host with them, uh, you do have access to cPanel. And they also talk about unlimited MySQL databases, uh, which is awesome. And uh, like I said, uh, it's nice that to have more than one database, but 
we're more than likely only going to need the one anyway. So don't get don't let this get you too excited. Like, oh my gosh, I can have unlimited databases. Yeah, because you're probably not going to use them all anyway. Uh, anyway, <laughs> wow, I said that twice. Uh, let's move on to the next um, provider that I want to show you guys, and that is GoDaddy, which is like a pretty big international uh, hosting provider. Uh, all of you guys should probably know them. And if you go over to uh, hosting and you click on web hosting, you'll land up on this page that I'm showing you guys now. Um, and you can see that they've got an economy package. Uh, deluxe and so on. So you can take a look at their prices. And there's a few little specs here, like, oh, you get one website, 100 gigs of storage, which is <laughs> crazy compared to what I'm getting offered on other hosting providers, like my local uh, provider. But anyway, um, unlimited bandwidth, like I said, you don't really want to go with anyone that isn't offering you this. So uh, you'll find that a lot of guys are offering unlimited bandwidth. And yeah, I'm just going to skip some of those stats and scroll further down the page because what I really want to show you is that they are also using cPanel for Linux. So uh, you can see we've got access to cPanel and a whole bunch of other stuff, but cPanel is the important thing here because I'm going to be showing you guys cPanel. So yeah, uh, if you scroll even further down, you can see a bunch of uh, stats for their plans. So you get a uh, free domain, you get to host the website, disk space, all the stuff that was actually further up the page. Uh, but something that you might want to just check out for is my SQL databases uh, or my SQL databases. That's actually how this word is pronounced. I know. I'm probably going to get a lot of flack in the comments for saying my SQL. But anyway, uh, yeah, uh, we've got access to 10, ta 10 uh, databases. Uh, but they have a max size of one gig. Not that you'd ever reach that on a simple Joomla or a WordPress site anyway. So yeah, uh, that's just how to check out for like certain stats and make sure that your host is using cPanel. If it doesn't say on the website that they're using cPanel, you might want to phone them or just look somewhere else because uh, most of the good guys will say that they are using cPanel. Um, or they'll let you know that they're using cPanel. So uh, once you've purchased hosting, uh, like for AfriHost, um, what did I do? I, I go to Gold Home, sign up now. Um, for you guys on these other packages, you'd click the uh, sign up now button. And you're going to have to fill in a form, like choose your pricing plan, um, put in your details, and they'll ask you for a domain. So you'll have to register a domain, which would be like www, whatever your website is, .com. Uh, and then you'd have to pay. Once you've done all of that, they'll probably send you an email and give you some of your hosting details. Uh, with AfriHost, I actually have access to this backend panel called a client zone and I can view all my hosting packages and log into cPanel from there. So uh, if I click on that button, it's going to let me log into cPanel, which I already have open over here. And so this is what cPanel looks like. But we're actually going to be taking a look at this in the next tutorial. So I'll explain um, what all of this stuff is and what this is and what that means. But yeah, for now, just make sure that you've purchased hosting and that uh, once you've got hosting, you get through to cPanel, which looks something like this. Otherwise, it might look um, something like this old theme, because you can switch themes here. Uh, so let's give this a few seconds to load. OK, so uh, this is pretty much the old version of cPanel. Sometimes this little bar at the top here is blue, and it says cPanel and not AfriHost, but uh, web hosting providers can change this. So that's why it says AfriHost. Uh, and sometimes this background is either gray or blue. But yeah, for this one, it's red just because uh, these guys' logo is red. So yeah, uh, it should look something like this, but it might not look exactly the same. That's all I wanted to say. Uh, so I'm going to switch back to Paper Lantern because this is the new theme. And it is the theme that uh, I'm going to use for my tutorials because it because it's the new one and more than likely anyone who's looking for hosting from now on will be uh, 
given the this version of cPanel with uh, this theme displaying. So uh, that is all I have for you guys in this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe. Please feel free to leave a message or a, leave a comment, like and share this video. It's really going to help my channel grow and I'll see you guys next time.